welcome to this video where we'll be taking a look at what's new with Dynamo for Revit 2021. We will look at the new nodes relating to the Revit 2021 release as well as the new generative design interface which can now be launched directly from within Revit. Let's start by taking a look at the new nodes. Just before we start you'll notice that the base release of Dynamo is now 2.5. OK, so I'm just going to open up a script here, which will just go through some of our new nodes. So let's begin by opening up the shelf library. And in the shelf library here, we'll take a look at some of these new nodes. So you'll notice here that we have uh, several new nodes that are all related to if elements are joined to one another. And you can see here I've got a simple uh, script set up here, test if elements are joined. So what's actually happening here is we're getting all of our structural foundations and a floor. And you can see here, it's testing if the elements are joined. And you can see here it's false. So if I go into Revit here and we go to modify and we join some of these elements. So let's join the slab and the foundation in there, for example. If we now go back into Dynamo, you can now see that one of them is true. OK, what this also does here is you can see that it will list out what the elements are actually joined to. So you can see here, again, I'm getting all of our structural foundations and you can see one of these foundations is in fact joined to the floor. This will join selected elements. So let's have a look at this then. So what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and select some foundations. So we'll just rotate this round and we'll grab all the foundations there. OK, and now We'll go ahead and select our floor slab. And you can now see all of those elements are joined. OK, let's just maximise Dynamo. And you can see there are some other nodes as well. So we've got here Unjoin, so that's a reciprocal. Unjoin all geometry. Well, here we can set the join order. And here we can get hosted elements, that's quite useful. And something that's quite good for model auditing, as you can see here, is to set the pin status. So you'll notice here that I can return a true or a false if an element is pinned. And here we can set up a script to pin elements. OK, so they're the new nodes in Dynamo 2.5 in relation to Revit 2021 release. Next, we'll take a look at the generative design new features. So here we have a building model set up with a curtain wall system. And the idea here is we want to randomize all the different colors along the curtain wall. So you can see I've got four different colors. I've got blue, green, red, and yellow, and I want to randomize those across this facade. Now, obviously I could use Dynamo and just run that once, but what I'm gonna do here is use a generative design process to go through and randomize, you know, perhaps sort of 20 or 30 different models. So now you can directly access the generative design interface from within the manage ribbon. So let's select manage. And you'll see here that we have a new panel dedicated to generative design. Also here, you'll see that they've just repainted the Dynamo player icon as well. But what we're going to do here is create a study. So let's select this. And you can now see the create a study dialog box appears. So these are default studies that come with the generative design software. And this is one here that I've made to control the randomization of my facade. So let's select this. So in this case here, my method is simply going to be randomize. And you can see here I've got 40 solutions. I'm just going to change that to 20, yep, just so it runs a bit quicker. And we can generate our designs. So you can now see some data starting to appear. Of course, if you take a look on the uh, top left hand side here, you can see that we have uh, zero solutions at the minute, but that will start to now populate until we get to 20 random solutions. OK, so you can now see the grid squares starting to populate. And currently Dynamo is sorting them by the panel count. And down the bottom area here, you can see that we have a scatter plot or our parallel coordinates chart. OK, so we've now got 20 solutions computed. And you'll notice in the details area over here, we can preview our design. So let's go ahead and select a different one. And here you can see that we've got our new design. 
course we can uh, zoom and pan and rotate around this as we please. And of course once we're happy we can create the Revit elements. Okay so the Revit model is now built. So here you can now see the output of this and you can see all of the, uh, the color panels as randomized by generative design process. Okay, so all in all, a very welcome addition to the ribbon here, and hopefully it will encourage more people to explore the generative design interface. Okay, hope you've enjoyed watching that and look forward to seeing you all soon. Thank you very much.